Hey, what's up guys, Steven here and welcome back to another LED projector review from China. You know, my last video was quite popular, but it was a very cheap LED projector. Here we have a more expensive one. It's still absolutely cheap, retails for only around 85 euros on tinydeal.com. As always, there's a link down below in the description. It ships from Germany, so if you're interested, feel free to check it out. But now I would say, let's go and let's have a closer look at the box and at the specs. Now let me quickly show you what you can find inside of the box. So not too much actually, let's get started started here with the remote control. Now the remote control is easy to use. At the top here we have an IR LED and here on the back side we have the battery case. So let me quickly open that up. In there you can see um, you actually have to put in two AAA batteries which are not included by the way. And let's have a look here at all the buttons. So you can turn the projector on and off. You can mute it. We have a menu button, an input button to switch. Here are a normal D-pad, at the bottom escape, turn, info, pick, zoom, repeat, volume up and volume down, because it also comes with integrated speaker. Two watts only, doesn't sound really good, but at least integrated speakers. The next thing we have here, it's a user manual. Well, um, nothing special, but at least it comes with a lot of pictures, and so far as I can see, um, this one here is English only. Okay, that's regarding the user guide. It comes with a power cable, so it should come with the correct power socket connector for your country. Don't worry, so they will include the right one. This one here for my country. Then here we have a cinch adapter. So this is basically um, a 3.5mm connector to three cinch connectors. So the red one and the white one for audio and the yellow one here for the video signal. And last but not least, the projector all along with a cap for the lens. So this is everything you can find inside of the package. And now I would say, well, let's have a closer look at the projector. Righty right guys, there we go. Here's the projector. So let's have a closer look at it. Quite huge for a pocket projector, but well, it weighs exactly 903 grams on my scale here. So also quite heavy. If you have a look here at the device from the front side, you can see um, immediately the big lens. So I have pocket projectors which have a way smaller lens than this one here. At the top here we have the Tronfy logo and also a pretty cool thing is you can adjust the front angle. So here we have a little screw which you can basically just screw out and this acts as a stand. And here you can adjust the angle plus and minus 15 degrees. Okay, um, this is how it works. That's the front side. Then now let's have a look at all the connectors which are placed here on the right side of the projector. So here we have an HDMI input port and yeah, there you can connect everything you want to. Computer, consoles, so everything which has an HDMI output, just connect to the cable. Here we have two USB ports. So this is an USB input port and this is an USB output port. This one here is just to output 5 volts. So for instance, if you want to charge a smartphone, you can charge it with the projector. So if you are on the go, so um, in an office and you're doing a presentation, but your damn smartphone is running out of battery, just connect it to the projector. I mean, yeah, kind of useless. I've never seen a projector with USB output, but well, pretty cool thing. Here we have the USB input port. So if you have a USB drive with media files, just connect it to the projector. In the descriptions and the specs you can see which file formats are supported and then it can play back the media files on there. Here also an SD card slot so you can put in SD cards with media files if you want to. You can even yeah, just leave them in the projector, just go anywhere and just play back your default presentation or movie. Okay, here we have the AV input. So um, you've seen the adapter before, so um, cinch adapter and you just connect this one here to the AV input. If you have older devices like, I don't know, Nintendo 64 or whatever. And here we have the um, headphone output. So it comes with integrated speakers, but if you don't want to use them or if you want to um, just connect this um, projector to an amplifier, you have here a 3.5mm headphone output. Next thing is, here you can see some ventilation slots. So in there, there's a massive heatsink. I'm not really sure how warm it gets, but I will tell you that a little bit later. So here's the top side of the projector. Here you can see the Tronfy logo, another ventilation slot, and here we have a couple of buttons in case you don't want to use the remote control or it's empty. This one here to power it on, an OK button, a left and right button, or maybe up and down, not really sure, but we'll check it out later, and an input and escape button. Probably this is also up and down. Okay, yeah, that are all the buttons you have 
on the projector and here on the right side you have um, some rings, actually two, to um, adjust the focus. So you see the lens now comes out and here we have another one. I guess that's for the fine tuning. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, here we have the, um, yeah, the connector, so the port for the power cable, for the power cord. And on the back side here we also have an VGA input. So yeah, um, if you have an old computer which only has um, VGA and not HDMI, you can also use that input. And here we have the IR receiver for the remote control. Okay, then let's have a look at the bottom side. Now here on the bottom side we have four stands with rubber pads, so it's not sliding around on desk for instance, so if you don't have a tripod or anything to mount it to. You see power voltage 100 to 240 volts, light source LED, lamp LCD, blah blah blah. So here you can see one of the speakers, probably that's the only one so far, I haven't seen any other speaker grid. And here we have a little thread, so to mount it on a tripod, and here we have the um, angle adjustment um, screw you have seen before. Okay, so that's basically the whole projector from the outside. And now I would say, let's just hook it up to my computer and let's just see how it performs in reality. Now sorry, here's a quick correction. So um, this one here is for Keystone. For instance, um, if the picture is not 100% in a rectangular shape, you can adjust it here. So I did just read it in the user manual and we'll just also test it on the wall. Okay ladies and gentlemen, we have now hooked up the projector to our test setup and we have here a very big wall, so it's 2 meter 50 in the width and 1 meter 30 in the height. And yeah, the picture right now is also quite big, so 2 meters width and around 1 meter height. And you can see it's quite colorful, but um, the projector is not so strong as I've expected. I have a 1000 lumens projector here, so another one, and it seems to be way stronger. So this one is not really the strongest one. We had to really um, turn off all the lights here to get a decent picture and here you can see it right now. So that's actually, yeah, it's really big so it needs um, yeah, um, a darker room right now but it could be a little bit better. Okay, now let's check it out with our remote control. So we're here in the menu of the projector. So when you start it up, you will see that screen here. So you can switch here between movie, music, photo and text. And then you can also switch the inputs, so you can do that on the remote control. You can switch here between USB input, SD card, PC, RGB, HDMI or AV input. So let's just stick here with USB, but um, I quickly want to show you the menu, so what you can do here. First of all, you can adjust the picture mode. It's now set to user, so we have here um, everything set to my needs and I did set the sharpness to 100 and also the brightness to 100 then it looked way better. So first of all I thought the, the projector is absolutely crappy but after adjusting the settings it actually looked way better. So there are also dynamic settings, standard settings, mills, but yeah I'm using the user settings. You can see here the color temperature, um, it's set to medium, you can have cool, you can have warm. The aspect ratio, it's on 16 to 9 but you can also zoom, um, it's currently here on auto, so you could also have zoom 1, just scan, panorama, but yeah, I just want to keep it here at 16 to 9 for our movie tests. Okay, noise reduction, I have it on high, but there is not a huge difference between um, off, low, middle and high, so almost not noticeable. Um, yeah, the remote control is really strange, I have to get used to that. Um, here we have project uh, mode, so you can have it also inverted if you want to, and image scaling, so yeah, here you can adjust the scaling, which we're not going to do. All right, that's everything here in the picture. Here we have sound settings, so as I've told you, it comes with integrated speakers. The project itself is also very noisy. Now, my other projector from China um, was fanless, but this one here comes with a very noisy fan. So yeah, for a low power projector, it's really noisy. Okay, so you can see here the sound mode, it's currently here on standard, but you can also have music, so it's basically like an equalizer, sports, or just here um, the high tones and bass as you want. Okay, escape button lets us go back, but all, always goes back to the home screen. We have here um, balance, auto volume, surround sound, well, surround sound with those crappy speakers. Um, probably this is also for the output, I'm not really sure. Um, here we have an equalizer, so let's quickly check out the equalizer and 120 hertz, oh, we, here you can adjust the frequency, so at least that's pretty cool, so you'll probably have to play around with that. 
Okay, here are the time settings. Clock, sleep timer, auto sleep. So if you're watching a movie at night and you want to have a sleep timer. And last but not least, we have your options like software updates over USB. So far I haven't seen any updated software for this one. So I'll probably have to check this out. Um, you can change the on-screen display language and we have here a color range from zero to um, 255. Or here you can adjust the color. So yeah, nothing I would be worried about. And OSD duration can be switched here to some values. All right, this is basically everything we can find here. So everything we can adjust the settings. And now I would say, I'll just hook it up to my notebook and I'll just play back something from the USB drive too. We can have a look at the sound quality from the speakers and the overall quality. But as you can already see, if you check out the picture quality, then um, it's not full HD. So it's a really low resolution, 800 times 480, something like that as stated on the, on the package, because you can already see the pixels from the fonts. So if I would like to, I could go um, to the screen and just count the pictures of the letters there because the resolution is not really high. But let's just go, let's hook it up to my PC and let's see how it performs. So ladies and gentlemen, I've now hooked up my notebook to the projector and the focus is absolutely correct. So we can try to refocus again. So here you can see the ring. So you have to focus manually and there we go. Yeah, now it should be the sharpest point. But if you try to read any of the fonts here on the desktop, then you will see this is actually impossible because the native resolution of the projector is so low that it can't display those small things. So yeah, like um, there are two pixels which are one letter and this looks not really good. Okay, so if you try to use it as an office projector, and if you want to do some presentations of your um, Word docs or Excel sheets, then this could be a huge problem because you see, it's almost impossible to read here the font because it looks so bad. Now I have another pro pocket projector with full HD resolution and it looks way, way better. So if you need a pocket projector for that, get another one. So if you want to use it for casual movie, um, yeah, I don't know, movie nights or whatever you want to call them. So I can just try to refocus again, but also the focus is kind of crappy here. Um, then it's okay. So um, I have here a movie on my USB drive. So one of my reviews, and if you check this out, then you don't need so much, yeah, so much details. So you don't need to check out very small fonts and you can actually see everything here. Now, regarding the colors, it could look a little bit better. Also, you can definitely see all the pixels there. So it's not that sharp like the 4K file here on my notebook, but definitely enjoyable. So if you want to watch some movies with the pocket projector here, then this is absolutely no problem at all. Then also, for instance, for gaming, um, you could use it with your console. So if you have very limited space and you always play in a dark room, it could um, be no problem at all because um, limited space, it's a small picture and then also it looks a little bit better. Um, if you have a big picture like here, then yeah, it's impossible to read anything. Then I can quickly show you here, for instance, a Minecraft movie from my channel on the pocket projector. So you can see how it looks like and there we go. So you see for gaming where you have a lot of fonts, um, it's crappy because it's really hard to read the fonts. But if you're playing shooters or anything without any fonts to read or um, without anything to read like race games, then it's no problem at all. There are enough details to see, but if you need to read fonts, then just forget it. This projector has a too low resolution. All right, so I've now connected a USB drive to the projector on the left side. You can see um, the USB symbol, so a USB drive is connected. And now you can um, go here at the top, for instance, to movie, choose a USB drive or your SD card, and then you can play back any of the files which are supported file types. And let's try this one here. You will also hear some music, so just listen for yourself. Now the speakers are not really loud. They are okay, so I would say within the range of five meters, everybody can hear anything. But um, yeah, also the, the clarity and everything is not too good. But what do you expect for the price? But now let's just play back here the movie. So it loads up pretty fast and there we go. And you see everything is really crispy. So the font here, but the speakers are quite loud right now because I'm standing um, very close to them. Just check out here the quality for yourself. Now regarding the colors, not so deep colors. Also, yeah, you can see um, not really, not really powerful. And if you don't have a room which is completely dark or you have um, too much light in your room, 
the picture will co probably look crappy. Alright guys, um, that's the projector. We have now checked out everything here. We can stop here right now. So we're now here at the end of this review and let's talk about my final conclusion about it. So boys and girls, we're now here at the end of this review of the TronFi Pocket Projector from China. And now so far I've tested actually a lot of them, so four different Pocket Projectors. For sure, there are a lot to come soon, so stay tuned. Now I had this one here on the left side, it was the GM50. It was absolutely crappy. So this was probably the crappiest Pocket Projector I've had. Then this one here, the TronFi, is a little bit better, it's a little bit stronger, but still not very good. The resolution is still crappy, and the speakers, yeah, at least it has speakers, the other one came without speakers. Then the best one I've had so far, it's that one here, it's an absolute beast. It's the Endor, or Ender, I have no idea how to pronounce it. The review is coming soon, and this one here is a, a, a real beast, because it runs Android. It has a very small lens, as you can see, but it's absolutely strong and colorful. Also, it has really um, Android inside, so it comes with a processor inside, um, internal memory, um, yeah, RAM, and it's a really cool project there. So stay tuned for my review. And yes, um, so what's my final conclusion about it now? You can use it um, for movie nights or whatever, but um, don't expect too much from it. If you want to um, do work on it, so read fonts or whatever, forget it. The resolution is so low, it's, it looks really bad. And um, yeah, for gaming, yeah. Also, I wouldn't really use it for gaming. Probably just for games where you don't have to read anything because it's impossible to read any fonts. Now, if you play racing games or shooters, it's okay, but RPGs, forget it. Okay, my final conclusion about it, it's okay, not too bad. 80 euros, you will find a link down below in the description. The next review of the next Pocket Project is coming in the next day, so stay tuned. And please leave a like and a comment down below if this video was helpful. And subscribe to our channel to see more content. Now, thanks for watching. Have a nice day and bye-bye.